A lot of people ask me, um, how can you know you tap into your psychic abilities more? How do we get tapped into psychic abilities and original senses and intuitive senses? There's a few key things here. Um, there's a multitude of things. I'll cover off about three or four key ones. The first one is that you have to have the ability. So number one, you have to have the ability to get into alpha state. So we operate at beta brainwave state most of the time, logical, strategy, day-to-day um, -day rational thinking. That's not conducive to intuition. Intuition needs an alpha, a slower brain state where you drop from beta into alpha. When you slow down, there's more pauses, you notice things more around you, everything goes slower. And it's almost like with that slowness, you can catch those intuitive or psychic abilities from that slowness. So meditation often goes with the alpha brainwave state. So meditative um, practices and slowing your brain down. The second one is being more creative. The more that you're creative and exercising what I call your right brain, your spirit brain, your intuitive brain versus your left brain, your logic, the more creative you are and the more you're exercising your creative powers, I believe that you get downloads and information and, and great business ideas are, are created from that as well. <clears throat> so it's almost like you're downloading ideas. The third thing is you need to know what's available to you. Like if you're going to develop <clears throat> your psychic abilities, you need to know what they are. Like why I was saying in a previous video, whether it's clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience, claircognizance, they're all different um, psychic abilities that you have innately in you. It's just whether they're practiced or not. So the third thing is you really need to know what they are. It's a little bit like saying, I want to go on a, a run through um, a national park, but I'm not going to get the map out and look at what path to take. Like You have to know where you're going with it and start to head in that direction. So knowing what they are is really powerful. Um, the more you know, the, the more they switch on. It's almost like they go together. Number four is um, practice and exercises. So, you know, if you wanted to go build up your muscles in a gym, you don't just, you know, start at the heaviest weight. You have to build up. So practices, exercises, doing more of um, the development of your abilities will really, really help you tap into them, help you use them every day. Um, and then the more you practice and the more you focus with that, the better. And lastly, I would say it really is you being on a bit of a spiritual journey. I mean, these aren't professional logical skills their intuitive their left field skills so you have to sort of be on that spiritual journey of awakening and opening and thinking about all things spirit like everything is alive everything has energy so the more that you're thinking and exploring this world of the invisible the metaphysical the soulful world the spirit world the more you're going to grow your psychic abilities so that's just a good starting place and um, i've got more videos on how you can do that